and they want to show us the digital performance and the latest update for their digital audio expression. That's right. So DP10 is a brand new uh, update to DP. We are out of DP9 into this new DP10 uh, window. We're look, currently looking at the Eclipse window, which is brand new of DP9, where you can trigger either individual audio and MIDI clips or by scene like this. We're really trying to reach out and revitalize DP for people that are using clip-based production for live looping, playback, recording, vamping, improvising. There are tons of uses of this. You can see at the top we have our clip section as well as the bottom the normal DP mixer with plug and insert settings, solo and mute capabilities, input and output assignments, volume and pan settings. And the clips window doesn't just act alone, it acts with the rest of uh, the DP windows that you're used to, like the chunks window, sound bites, uh, the counter as you can see here. On the left hand side we've also added a content browser. This is basically a finder window for your project audio files, bounces, clippings, or adding places, like adding anywhere in your internal hard drive or the external drives that you may have hooked up. You can also drag and drop instruments and plug-in effects onto anywhere on your audio files, or, or excuse me, audio tracks or your instrument tracks. For instance, if I go into the Masterworks FET76, I can grab this preset and drag it right onto my track and boom, there it is with the preset that I'm looking for. So this is the new content browser in DP10. Uh, aside from that, we've added a new stretch layer. So in the sequence editor, I can go up to my audio menu and find the beats in my audio and then go into the new stretch layer. And if I zoom in enough for you, I can find the actual transients and individually trigger them. Let's get my pencil, my pointer tool back up. I can individually move them side to side earlier or later in my sequence as well as adjusting the time of the actual transient. So this is going to be great for editing beats within sound bites without actually creating additional sound bites. And this is all non-destructive using DP's built-in ZTX pitch and time stretching engine. So these are just two or three of the new features on the surface of DP10. Um, we just announced this Thursday and it, we believe it should be available uh, at the end of February 2019. And on the instrument side, uh, not, uh, is there something new? Correct. So we've actually, we're including what's called the Motu Instrument Sound Bank, which will be hosted in the UVI workstation application. It's got over a thousand different loops that you can uh, sync up with DP's traditional timeline and uh, tempo. Uh, tempo slider, conductor track, and as well as you know your kind of bread and butter instruments, pianos, organs, electric and acoustic guitars, electric and acoustic basses, uh, drums, you're going to have it all. You're going to also have orchestral uh, patches like violins, string ensembles of all different articulations as well as brass and woodwinds. Uh, and this is all just pulling uh, from our Mach 5 series as well as our ethno instruments and just kind of compiling some of our favorites and tweaking them into a a complete package of instruments, these bread and butter sounds that you'll be able to use in DP10. So all this and more you can get in DP10. Keep an eye out for it. It will. We are hoping it's going to be out in late February. And thanks so much for watching. Okay, thank you. All right.